We got a shooting machine in the building, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're excited, aren't you? Yeah, whenever they give the ball to Larry Punisher, I'm like, oh, damn, he's going to shoot. But I didn't know the curse yet because I was a kid watching Larry Punisher, Willie yeah. Wilson, you my guests. Oh, so, yes. so you you gave you gave the name of the person that we're going to be guesting today. <laughs> that's a description of video. Then no money. That's true. That's true. It's pretty. It's pretty uh, exciting to have him here. Actually, of course. Um, he's our third, or I think fourth, uh, at the new Ego. No? At least uh, we we're, we're balancing that already. You know, no one those, uh, oh, can ever that. say we're biased. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Again, uh, welcome. This is episode uh, 97 already of Who the Heck Are We? Can you believe that? We've been uh, having 97 episodes. We're nearly the 100th episode. I can't believe it. Never, uh, never. Yeah, so it's crazy stuff. So why don't we get it? Why don't uh, we bring in uh, our prestige guest, mm-hmm. our special guest? Yes, can I get a drum roll? You? Okay, uh, you, you, you are. Again. Okay, I'll get a drum roll. Mr. Okay. Larry Fauna Share. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Thanks. Yeah. How's life going nowadays? Uh, it's good. <laughs> um, so many transitions. Um, interesting. Um, some decisions to make in the future and then, you know, some some side sideline jobs that are opening so um discovering new things so you know interesting yeah so <laughs> the sidelines and new things that would be probably your uh stint right now in the uap as a analyst yeah. now but we'll yeah yeah <laughs> mamaya, mamaya, pupuntahan natin yan, mamaya. We'll, we'll get to that later you know so but you know that like of course a lot of people know who you are here in the philippines you you're uh i guess uh a legend uh, in, for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. You know, you played here in the PBA, uh, played for Pilas, you played also for the 3x3. But Larry, who who actually um, introduced you to the game of basketball or who influenced you to play basketball? No one really. I mean, my dad was a tennis player and, you know, he had tennis balls lying down and uh, everywhere in the house. And... <laughs> Instead of hitting it to the racket, I just dribbled it and just tried to find a small hoop where to uh, where to throw that thing. So <laughs> that's how it began. <laughs> <laughs> well, that okay. Uh, Kaya pala shooter shooting the tennis ball. <laughs> May mga oh, drills, uh, dribbling drills with the tennis ball drills. in the weak hand or in the other hand. <laughs> exactly. But hindi ka tennis. It's good you didn't go. <laughs> I, I tried. I tried, <laughs> but. No, no, I couldn't hit that small ball. <laughs> good, good thing. If you're not playing tennis, if you're not playing tennis, you don't have silver in 2013. Uh-huh. For the would, that would have been a very different uh, outcome, right? So, exactly. exactly. So, okay, so there was no one that actually introduced you to the game. How did you start playing basketball? Uh, I just put up an alambre court. <laughs> so sa bakod namin that that's it <laughs> then it grew to a to a bigger one na you know welded to a backboard and then I played in the plaza and then pretty much that's it i asked my dad if i could join Milo Best, all these clinics and then you know in school rece- recess and lunch just playing and playing even if nagrereklamo ni mga teachers na sobrang dungis ko raw i mean go ahead pa rin play that was like my whole reason for going to school was to play and you know <laughs> then stop so i <laughs> na. so grade school mo was with in what what where did you go to school grade school um 88 all the way um in ateneo oh. i mean kasi sobrang lapit na sa house eh, so i mean dun na. and then yeah 1988 to 2004 you know so all the way, all the way. Within that campus ka na talaga, eh, no? So, siguro memorize mo na lahat ng sulok ng Ateneo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oo. Oh, so. Wow, so alambre talaga. So, ay, bola mo yung tennis ball. Hindi naman. Yeah, yun. Yun talaga, tennis ball. And then, uh, yeah, kung ano yung mabiling bola sa, ano, sa, you know, sa, sa tindahan din. Basta, <laughs> 
Ano basta bola. Yeah, na. yeah basta bola. <laughs> Miskin na football, shoot yan. <laughs> yeah. So, so yung Milo Best was kay Nick Jorge. Yeah, Coach Nick. Um, so yun, Ateneo covered courts din yun. And then it ended up in SBP also sa San Agustin. Um, CSA. CSA. And yeah. then you know, weekends. Um, yeah, that was my journey. Tuloy-tuloy na. I wasn't planning anything. I was just enjoying playing. Tapos it kind of basketball just took me to all these places. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it seems like it. So, how was your first tryout? Like, Ateneo Grade School? Because I know that uh, Ateneo Grade School, I'm not sure then, but now, medyo malak- maganda yung program nila, no? It's always been good. Then, <laughs> right? But back then, how was the how was the program and how was the tryouts? What uh, no, you know, the program before, I mean, like it, it wasn't always good. I mean, if diba, yung juniors and seniors naman, you know, my dark days din naman yung Ateneo, diba? Parang, you couldn't win. You couldn't enter the final four. So, noong time namin, it was very informal. Uh, you know, some some teammates knew that I I played um, a little well during recess lunch. And then there was just this tryouts for SBP na by ear. So, by Team B and Team A. Tapos, I was just, um, just doing warm-ups for Team B. And then the coach told me na... Um, dito ako na maglaro sa, sa, sa Team B ha Huwag ka na dyan sa Team A Where it was stacked it was, BJ Manalo was there And some mm-hmm. other guys na You know, ahead sa akin It's my first varsity tryout Wala, very informal And you know, parang by the coach saying that na You know, huwag ka na mag-tryout sa Team A Parang I felt na eh, Okay, seems like I'm gonna make the team So that's my first um, team SBP Team B So They yeah, started there who Great were the four. other players no, yeah. who made it big? There's you, there's BJ Manalo. But BJ, we'll talk about that later. Atenista going to La Salle. That's very rare. Very yeah. rare. But who yeah. were like, the other friends who made it big? SPP tryout. Na yun. I know high school. Na lang, eh. Naging junior teammates. Ko na lang, eh. Okay. And then, sa... yeah, hanggang juniors, na lang umabot yung, ano, yung mga... Um, teammates ko from ano SBP and Pasarel so uh yeah ako na lang yung tumuloy-tuloy uh, yeah that was it <laughs> survival of the fittest survival talaga. of the fittest yeah but well, not really i mean i think for in my time na mas marami talagang magagaling for me i i think na when i when i look back at it um there are a lot of guys who are not interested in the in the athlete life and you know the UAP the varsity team wasn't as big before as now. Na talagang, you know, everyone knows about it. Hinahanap siya. Before lang, parang, um, yeah, it wasn't too big. That's why parang a lot of, some of my teammates, parang quit along the way. They were not interested. Parang the social life was better. There were more things other than basketball that they wanted to explore. So, um, ako naman, I, I just like to play. And I wasn't really fond of, you know, going out, the, the social life. Uh, ano lang ako before? Just basketball and video games and y- yun lang. So, I guess my focus was narrowed down to those two things. Mm-hmm. Yung video games, was it also basketball? <laughs> or NBA Live, mga ganun, or? No, it was Final Fantasy. It was Final Fantasy and uh, all these... You know, open-ended games. Na uh-huh. alam yun, you, know, you build characters or you strategize. Right. Parang tactical games. So, <laughs> you know, probably a nerd deep inside. <laughs> <laughs> pero, pero ano basketball? <laughs> Shooter ka na ba from start? No, no, no. Oh no, no. Yeah, okay. No. Definitely not. I mean, I wouldn't want to look at my form back then. So totoo lang. <laughs> yeah. So sino sino nagayos ng form mo? Coach Sandy. Um, he started when I was in college. Basically, taught me how to do the jump shot, break down the footwork and everything. So, yeah, Coach Sandy talaga. Uh, much, much credit to, to him. He's so good with details. And, yun nga, until now, I, I believe yung product ng all those players in Ateneo na ano, yung player sure. development, 
I mean that that has to be credited a lot to Coach Sandy. He's just a master at you know uh, developing players. So like, and lovely you... guy too. Funny. Oh yes, Coach. Funny. Coach guessed Super. it also, right? Oh my goodness. Show. Parang you laugh all yeah. the time. No, parang you. Such yeah, such a good friend also. Such a no. Um, yeah, more than a coach. I mean, what a great friend Coach Sandy is. <laughs> Yeah, super, super madalda. Grabe, saya niya. Saya niya doon sa show. Super with coach that time, super. yes. Super. Coach Sandy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Clara, go ahead. About your, ano, like, early career, Larry, were you always a wing? Or did you start out centro? And then, as you carried on to high school, pababa, wingman. How was now, it? Now, um, before, I, I used to bring the ball a lot ng SBP. Um, not, not to, ano, not to... You know, not too good with dribbling, with, with dribbling skills. But I just brought the ball down. Because mm-hmm. I started like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, then I had a growth spurt in high school. And then Coach Sandy and Coach Jamaik allowed me to play two guard, point guard, and then sometimes play uh, forward, even some center when they wanted to go mm-hmm. small. So all these positions. Uh, so yeah, pretty much tried all, all these positions uh, in high school. Mm-hmm. So if you're saying Dika shooter in the beginning, were you that guy who would slash to the hoop? Or what was it that got the attention of coaches, we can say, or made you succeed? Uh, I guess just involving my teammates, passing quickly, rebounding, playing some defense. Because uh, if you look at my percentage before, parang, eh, mababa, mababa shooting percentage before. And um, you know, my form wasn't that wasn't really that good before mm-hmm. and it wasn't consistent naman so um siguro lang parang the the ano lang um being able to adapt to the system being a team player i guess that's what co- what people saw yeah. and yeah that was it i wasn't like a specialist before mm-hmm. parang my scotty uh, pippen vibes eh doing <laughs> bring the ball down fighting yeah. teammates <laughs> Yeah, I hope I hope so. I mean, I, I I liked him more than Jordan, so um, <laughs> yeah, the all around thing with with him. So, yeah. who who were who were you, Anova, trying to emulate during your your grade school, high school? Sajaba uh, Pippen or something. Sajaba. Yeah, Pippen. Pippen, Pippen, Pippen talaga. Pippen. Okay. I I liked him really more than than Jordan. I mean, it's good this notion that you know, parang si Jordan, his skills were like out of this world. Na ang hirap. Ang hirap uh, i-emulate ng ordinary mortals. <laughs> But si Pippen... <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Pippen with, you know, maraming deficiencies yung game ni Pippen. He wasn't like a lights-out shooter. And, you know, uh, he yeah. struggled then a lot of times um, during the cr- during crunch time. But, you know, him impacting the game and just doing all these things for guys to get better. Parang that appealed to me. <laughs> the all-around guy that actually mm. helped Jordan get this championship. Yeah. Jordan mm-hmm. iba, diba? There's a reason why they call him Black Jesus, right? <laughs> so, who, oh. What did who 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 said that he was uh he was God in disguise or something? There was something I think magic. He said that or, he said that in, while trash talking someone. Yeah. Yeah. But you <laughs> so, like normally you say you mga players, oh, he's immortal. And then you see the player in the UAP like, oh, okay, that's expected. Yeah. So, um at least the players I saw, but you Magana Larry is like, oh, I'm not that guy who dropped 50. <laughs> type of guy who's just, you know, yeah. hard work all around. It's not the usual path. I don't know. If you guys get what I'm saying, if you could agree. Yeah. So, um, SBP? Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, no, so SBP naman kasi, it's, ano, di ba? Uh, the minutes are shared. You take turns every yeah. quarter. Mm-hmm. So, Pass basically, road, right? you really can't, the maximum minutes you can play there is 20. So, Basically, it's distributed. So, um, and then it, the, the game was different before. I mean, I guess mm. now, parang, you know, the, the, the spacing and the pace are really uh, broken down and it's really organized. Parang before, may pagkalabo labo pa rin. Parang it's just more than a feel and just, you know, just energy, um, energy in the court. Basically, that's it. And you're trying to like read each other. And, you know, it's very different, very, very different from today's game. Like evolved na talaga eh, no? Super. So who so who's coach mo? Who's like the his name was Francis Ansai. Um 
my he was a uh, teacher in in high school then his his son became my teammate also and then um yeah pretty much sa grade school kasi mga teachers yung naging coach ko rin eh okay. and yeah. then um all the way naging coach ko yan sila coach Sandy in high school um yeah I remember coach Sandy in high school sila ni Paolo Trillo um coach Sandy uh, tore his Achilles nung time na yun eh and then he you know he was coaching us and then i just remember him in crutches and he was still coaching and he was doing demo uh, <laughs> passing de- demonstrations to, to us yeah. on a crutch it's like oh, wow this guy that, this guy is i know parang um really passionate about uh, about teaching and being yeah. a coach so that's something that stood out for me um when when he began coaching and then you know juniors coach jamike but both um nagtan nag ano sila ni Sandy and then yeah exposed to all these uh, coaches i'm so blessed with the different mm-hmm. personalities the tough love ones and the patient ones and the, and the teachers and you know uh, they're still good friends to this day so parang for me um, that that's what's special about it yeah we we've, we've heard now from some of our guests that you know it might not be an ideal coach kasi they don't get the minutes they don't get to play but the character building of a coach you know they can't they can't uh, compare talaga. one of them is uh see si tonino gonzaga he mentioned that he'll never <laughs> yeah i said never never right. at the new boy said you know i may not not you know be playing a lot but the fact that coach norman helped him um build his character is something that he'll he'll n- never forget now yeah, that's the beauty of sports. Like for me, of course, I wasn't really a good student. I wasn't really interested in studying. So, you know, um, <laughs> my character was, uh, I mean, that's not an excuse, obviously, to the listeners. <laughs> but, um, you know, and you know, my children are watching this also. So, <laughs> and I emphasize that to them. So, but, you know, my, my, my classroom was really the basketball court in grade school, high school, and college. I learned so much from, from, um, uh, for my coaches and my teammates more than inside the classroom it's just the way it is I mean, basketball talaga guys um teaches so many things that the classroom can teach it's a different i know learning learning avenue for you but after sbp um high school na ba? juniors or no we went pasarel first uh, my okay. coach is mike mike reyes kapatid ni coach chot and then that's where i played against in a magnum embreres in a jonas villanueva mm-hmm. Oh, um, so, wala pa si LA, no? no, 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 wala pa si LA. Uh, si LA, I played against him. Uh, PBL Juniors, I think that was entering college. Mm. So, uh, we got a taste of how good he was there. Talo kami sa finals. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, Oh, no, 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 no. Iba pala yun, iba pala yun. Basta si LA was, uh, yeah, recruited namin sa San Beda. And it's funny na um, nirecruit namin si LA because one of my teammates from high school na he was really good. Hindi niya tinuloy yung basketball. He could have played in college mm-hmm. and that would have been a diff- such a difference maker. Maybe wouldn't have recruited LA or um, some other point guard. So, yeah, I always think about that and talk about him na how do you feel na hindi mo tinuloy yung college? So, <laughs> may regret, obviously. But, you know, mahirap. Mahirap yung life ng athlete. It's not for everyone. It's not yeah. for yeah, everyone. Yeah, it's not for everyone. That's correct. Yeah. The, the demand. So, yeah. Who is this high school teammate, if I may ask? His name is Paolo De Leon. His name is Paolo De Leon. My, my point guard ng high school. High school. Um, yeah, he, he was really good. But, you know, he wanted to explore other things. Uh, outside of basketball, na, um, yeah, that's just the way life goes. I mean, you make decisions like that, and uh, you look back at it. Mm-hmm. But did you go for four years juniors at Teneo? Because no, a two lot years of Ateneo, no. uh, two years lang. Uh, two years, yeah, lang. because they like, for in a four years. Eh, those guys, yeah, they, because they were that good. I mean, yeah. my first two but, years, the juniors were stacked, and then pasi na B, and si BJ, si Rico, Wes. The guards were stuck to I wasn't 
I wasn't gonna make that team. So third year, actually third year, I was still questionable. But then some, a lot of guys dropped out. Uh, they okay. had problems with grades, so you know, it, it some some it opened up, slots opened up, and you know, some other guys too. Na you know, mas magaling talaga than me. They just didn't want to try out. They oh. they they just wanted the normal life, and that's the truth. I mean, they didn't want the uh, athlete, student athlete life. No, no, no. That's no. difficult. <laughs> Yeah, ako naman when I look back at it, I, there's also a part of me that wish na you know I I wish it was a little bit normal for me uh, back then. Na I wish I didn't have all this pressure. Na you know coming from high school, na it was just fun and you know uh, going to college. I didn't know that the the pressure, the responsibility that that the school and the the alumni wanted to to put on me. Na 14 years, na hindi pa champion Ateneo. And then we have to stop La Salle. That kind of pressure. I wasn't ready for that coming into college. So, you know, that was really difficult for me. I wasn't really prepared to, to handle that. No one really prepared me for that. And uh, yun nga, parang because of that, not knowing how to handle it and the priorities, uh, a lot of things suffered. And for me, parang, yeah, that was the normal life na I wish, you know, I had that, that lack of pressure. Um, that probably decreased pressure that you know ordinary people could could enjoy, uh, you know, in college. Yeah. How was ano UAP High School though? Champions ba or how far did you guys go? Yung two years. Um, ninety eight and ninety nine, we we lost sa high school as a finals versus UST, and then the next year we won the ano we won against um, Adamson, so one one. Not bad. One, one. Okay. Two, two top two finishes. And then you knew in high school now, oh, I can play I can play college ball. Siyempre, Ateneo High School, staying on that hill, right? Or you know, the other schools scored yeah. you. I, I, oh, knew it's yeah. I knew that I would get into the team because that's what they told me. But if I could play in college, personally, I thought I, I, I wasn't prepared my first year. Seriously. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I mean... Uh, my, my, I wasn't doing weights back then. I mean, the training was different from now. Uh, and then, yun nga, Ateneo was, what well, they had coach Joe, start pa lang ng rebuilding program. And then, yes. you know, I was going to play with Sina Enrico, Sina Wes, and then the older guys, stronger than me, mga Phil Ams. So, it's not a lot of doubt in me that, that I could survive here. Um, that was looking at La Salle na consecutive finals. That was with Coach Franz and in training si Dan Rose. They're you know they're, they're really conditioned like you know uh, they can play multiple games because ganon kagaling yung condition nila. So all those things that you're na ko before na parang wow it's so ano ah, overwhelmed in. And when I look at um, oh my first year I I, was, I didn't do pretty well naman. Not that well in my first year. Kumbaga parang I felt I turned the corner lang on my third year lang with Coach Joel. Where uh Joel Banal. Yeah, where he Oh was it Joel Banal? Okay. Yeah. Um I guess I responded well to like a professional coach. The maturity and I don't know, that that would that just worked for me. Mm-hmm. And uh Champions. Yeah. Champions. Champions. You're champion third year. 2000. Champion was third year. You yeah. stopped the LaSalle. Ah. It's a yeah. for five feet. Yeah. yeah, it's hard. That it's was hard. your first yeah. championship. That was your first championship. One and only in college. One and yeah. only. So the first year and second year, LaSalle, you lost. Uh, yeah. First year, talo sa LaSalle. Second year, talo sa FEU twice to beat kami sa final Ouch. four. Mm-hmm. So yeah, masakit yun. But more than that, mas masakit yung papasok ko sa school. Tapos you have homework pa and you have to submit papers pa. And then, you know... You oh know, my gosh. Hard to relate. <laughs> teachers and classmates are gonna talk about you. And you played really bad pa. So, alam mo yun, those things mm-hmm. na... <laughs> That's like the homework part only, of course. <laughs> well, after I, mean, I, I don't know game, if anyone game. wanted to do their homeworks pa after losing like that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that, no. So how did you get overcome that? Because that's not more physical. Eh? That's really a mental game. Mental game, game na yan. Yeah. Mental right. game, na yun, di ba? <laughs> At that time, I think hindi pa uso mga sports psychology or speaking to a mm-hmm. sports psychology or any. 
So we had one in the team. We had one in the team, but uh, for me, I was blessed to have a good support system. I mean, um, uh, my my yo my, my my girlfriend, my wife now, you know, it really helped me through it, through all these uh, difficulties then, and um, probably also learning how to not care also about what other people thought about you know everything it's hard i mean uh yeah you know, i wasn't really prepared for for blocking all all the noise and uh you know the criticism and everything uh well i i just learned as as i went and you know we as a team we supported each other uh with enrico enrico did a good job marco benitez andrew si Paul really helped me also with that um uh, with how to handle disappointment and defeat so um yeah we survived the man simple mm. well, he Tanchi. turns pro so yeah. of course oh yeah right paul tanchi enrico yeah. marco Enrico alumni marco in my high school yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's from cool. south ridge right yeah that's it's right. marco yeah team captain yo when you got your championship and in 2003 i think feu 2004 lasal but my complications is that right but i think unfortunately no, no, no. oh yeah yeah 2003 yeah. lost to feu lasal yeah. uh, 2004 I think um, Lasal was champion. He lost to him in the final. For pero, ito yung my complications eh. So parang what complications? The Lasal. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Pero I no, think wait, yung, um, yes, two thousand three. Might be mistaken. Two thousand three. I think. Di ba may back to back FEU losses sa finals? Kalaban niya ba si Arwin? Si Arwin ba yon? Si Arwin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eh, oh, this is the start of your friendly neighborhood fight. I don't know. Wait, wait. Arwin. Arwin Chante. No, no, no. Two, 2003, talo sa FEU. The 2004, I got injured na. I didn't make yeah. it to the finals. That's the time, ano, your, UAP, your UAP, UAP stint ended short, unfortunately. I mean, mm. Actually, it, was fortunately. it was sad to see. Like, I was watching TV being basketball fans. Like, we don't want to see yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Leave like that. <laughs> ACL, I yeah. think. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, for me, that was a blessing. Yeah, I'm getting injured like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in what way, though? That's tough. Oh, yeah. Like, ACL, pa, hard to recover. Yeah. And at that time, it's iba yung, more iba dangerous. Yung medical. Yeah, it's like medical. Yeah. Nun, iba. Like, you know, Actually, yeah, that's true. Well, my case was complicated. It was like, it's called a triad ACL, MCL, meniscus tear. So Oof. it was really complicated. And um, yeah, they were really having a hard time with it. And, you know, I think Doc Canlas was, was it too optimistic about, you know? Mm-hmm. But my future, uh, then you know that's that's the truth. But you know, for the other side of of it, um, not related to basketball. In for me, the ACL injury was you know, the best thing that happened to me, in terms of you know, uh, in terms of faith, you know, knowing Christ, <laughs> being humbled and um, being brought low. So along those lines, that's how I see it. <laughs> Could you say then, my counting backseat? So you had a glimpse of the normal life. Parang, well, way. yeah, you're right. That's true. I mean, that's more than one year of not playing. That's eight hours in the clinic. And that's long. Wow. Uh, eight hours in the clinic. Um, going we home. Have yeah, I, I, I had to stop my, ano na rin, my master's um, course because, you know, I was I felt I didn't going to need it. Na rin. I was really... I had to do eight hours a day of um, of rehab There's, because right. you know, mabagal yung ano yung recovery. So yeah, the normal life na yun walang basketball and you know a lot of time to reflect and, and think and you know communicate and t- talk to other people who are on the same journey. Yeah. And then so yeah, tama ka. It's nice that you brought that up um, because nga life slowed down. Yeah. Nung time na yun, and there were so many things to learn mm-hmm. and it was like a crossroads na what are you gonna do because uh the future looks unclear uh Sakto, last term, playing year pa ata. yeah in terms of, of basketball and you know the draft was coming up mm-hmm. and i was not ready i i took a test um dun sa, sa clinic where uh to see if my knee was strong enough and you know I, the draft was right there in the corner and my my knee wasn't doing well yet so i said i'm just gonna go to the draft and things don't work out i'm just gonna 
find a job na lang but uh, by God's grace uh, I guess my knee wanted to to play la para my my knee responded well to just playing to just working out and not going back to the clinic anymore so <laughs> uh, you know I don't know how that worked but mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think God, your style God, of play yeah, exactly God really just uh said oh no you're not stop you're not gonna stop playing it's my it's uh it's uh, my will for you to keep playing <laughs> yes. and and it, it remind me of uh, of one of our good friends of the pod is uh dylan ababu oh yeah dylan yeah. i love dylan uh I, he was my teammate in in tnt and all right he was such an encouragement because i saw how he struggled with his injuries mm. But how he remained so positive and encouraging, and I knew he he knew he was frustrated and in pain. But there was never a day that I went to practice that he didn't greet me with a smile or um, show gratefulness and thankfulness. And I I was just curious how how is he doing it? How is he doing that? Because if I were in his position, uh, I would be the first to get discouraged and uh, you know be be cynical about my situation mm-hmm. we know dylan maximized the situation made the most out of his career everything yeah. on the court Every- off the court right and Even then he, he, Tonino, Ateneo, he said he wasn't so sure and then ayun, naging naging 3x3 superstar you know, yeah way, <laughs> you can say he wasn't sure if he can do hoops anymore yeah and then um dylan even said that uh you know his his uh, career probably what God was telling him was that he's a, a traveling PBA missionary. It's <laughs> a journeyman, right? Journeyman, right? Not to take a dig, as Jay said when we were talking to, to Dylan, na uh, lipat team, lipat lipat ano? team, Barako, Ginebra, and then yon TNT is yeah. one of the steps all along yeah. the way. Yeah, PBA. I mean, yeah, it's a nice, it's a good way to put it. I mean, if he looks at it that way, then. Yeah, praise God for his perspective on that. Grabe, so he's always so cheerful. Talaga. Na, ba siya? Did you ever go against uh, Dylan? UAP parang... I yeah, sa PBA. Larry, no? PBA. Oh, yeah, PBA. I had a hard yeah. time against him. Yeah. Uh, when, you know, when he came in... Uh, Lost Larry, I think. I think. Okay. Oh, just a bit of Hi, uh, Is it okay? Yep. Yeah. We're yeah. good. Don't Sorry. worry. Sorry. Uh, I'm so good. It's okay. The internet. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, um, okay. Yeah. We can I, hear you. I played with him against him when you know. I really had a hard time against him when he was um, struggling with injury. So. Um, there. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, no, you're good. good. No worry. Just, there, so uh, and like, pro already. Yeah. Yeah. PBA. Well, sakto din your style of play. I mean, you're not that type of guy who'll just bump everyone driving in. You have the outside game. You have the floater. So I think that's kind on your body too, and you're able yeah. to carry on you know, after getting your triage of injuries. So. I don't know, my sakto. It is more of your brain, you know, doing the game rather than oh, relying on height or just physique. Is that how you can put it? Yeah. Um, Even, I know. You survived that scary I mean, injury. Yeah, by God's grace, lang. And you know, being put in the right situation, lang, with teammates and coaches, na you know, who helped me and believed in me, lang. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I guess in the PB, it's really different. No, when you go there, you gotta humble yourself. Then that you know. All these guys are way, way better than you. And you just have to really be happy then that, you know, what you have is enough. And maybe it's better than to just make a career out of making other people better. It's not really about you. Na you you want to shine and be like um, the, the, the man for every in the, in the team. No? I mean, there's so much satisfaction in making the whole thing work yeah. um, in a... Um, in a limited role or not not the main role yeah oh pba were, club, yeah. yeah yeah you were drafted mvp first. all the way i think no 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 uh, mvp Nag-anish group had, no ba? no nag uh, nag magnolia mm-hmm. no i started with red bull with coach yang 
Yeah. Oh, Red yun. Bull. Oh. Oh. How was that? Oh. Okay. How was that? I was gonna ask <laughs> Yang and Lex ba, but okay, this is like OG yeah. Yang, Red Bull. Oh my gosh, how yeah, was there, that? Yeah. yeah, that was like... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Before I ask Claudia, no? let's see what he uh, has to say, of course. Coach Yang, kaagad. It was, yeah, it's so funny because this is how it went. I mean, uh, the, there was the parang pre-draft camp in Moro Lorenzo. And mm-hmm. I didn't know I had to go there. So I, I called my manager, should I go here? Of course, you should be there because if you don't go there, you won't be allowed to get drafted. So I rushed to Moro, <laughs> you know, even if I, I didn't. I wasn't going to play, and then I sat down lang, parang pakita ka lang, just sat down, and by, by chance, si Coach Yang yung katabi ko, he was talking to like, he was ranting to someone <laughs> about, of course, he was ranting, <laughs> and, you know, he was ranting about, about something in the PBA, so, and then, you know, I was listening to him lang, and then, I didn't expect na ano, I expected to go to TNT, kasi they were okay. setting me up for something eh. Uh, parang they were interested to get me at number five, but they yeah. ended up, uh, they ended up, you know, they, they didn't want to take the risk, so I ended up at number fourteen, and then Coach Yang got gets me, and then there, um, <laughs> I get, I put, I, I'm put in a situation where, um, you know, I'm not babied, it's like a baptism of fire. I go there. Um, all these teammates of mine really. I think Sanduzi Enrico Villanueva, si Paolo Bugia. Yes. Yeah. But all the rest of the guys, they didn't care who I was. <laughs> and, you know, um, uh, I don't know if they cared about my injury, but, um, you know, you're here. You know, let's work. Let's practice. Let's see what you can do. And, you know, I, I just played. I, I tried out, and I, I wasn't expecting to be. Uh, to, to make the team because nga, my knee was I didn't play for more than a year. Yeah, that's right. But yun nga, no? um, best situation because you go to Coach Yang and he will give you playing time as long as you you do your best and you try to make smart decisions. That's all he he wants from from a player. He'll mm-hmm. give you a chance as long as you work hard and you know you try to play smart as best as you can. That's right. And for me, na you know. He gives me 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, I go to the PBA. I know I'm limited because yeah, my knee is not is not good. And, you know, that's where I think of, all right, I can't look for my own thing here. I've got to make Enrico better, Mick better, Junthi better, oh. Cyrus, Lordy better. So <laughs> Mick Penisi. I, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> so I guess that's my one way of you know, winning their trust. Now, hey, I'm here. We're, we have competition. That's the reality of it. But, you know, let's help each other here um, accomplish something together. That's right. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm getting and, flashbacks. This is yeah. the Red Bull team I watched. Yeah. Like, if that would go against San Miguel. Right. And, uh, yeah, Claudia. How, how was it, uh, you know, of course, we knew the, the firing coach, Yang Yao. Were you intimidated? Knowing the my first, um, first my practice, first practice, <laughs> Um, wala. Coach Yang naman in practice. Unless no, you go there, Eba. unless you go there after you lose a game, then you, you will feel na, you know, galit si coach. But then in a normal day, normal, ano lang, a preseason game, wala lang. He's just, he's just there observing. And you really don't know what he's thinking. I mean, so sometimes not, it's honest. Not yeah. the fiery one, no? <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's for the game. But okay. my rookie year, my first conference with him, he just let me play. Well, and I felt, you know, I had so much freedom. My mind was clear. Then my second conference, I when he started, you know, getting mad, and I <laughs> had difficulty adjusting to that. Um, and you know, I had anxiety actually <laughs> dealing with it. Um, the the, oh the expectations of winning rookie of the year and then the championship yes. in my first conference. Um, you know, another challenge for me how to handle that kind of success and responsibility. So that was a transition for me. Uh, I guess another way of being humbled. Na, hey, you've got a long way to go. Parang early success doesn't mean you're made already. That you're gonna make it in the PBA. So uh, yeah, I went through a huge struggle then in my second uh, second year, and then uh, you know I got traded then after that, and yes, yeah, I, I had to learn so many things. Uh, along the way, pa. 
So like Claudia is asking, what are you intimidation in practice more in the game though? It's more but, in the game. Yeah, yeah. like it's on the game. It's yeah. just scary. No, actually, in practice, you know, in practice, then it's scary. And my, my times in the in practice, then uh, you know, when uh, when you don't follow instructions, like he draws a play, you don't follow instructions, or you're like sometimes when we're when we catch ourselves goofing around. Yeah, you will hear it also from him, and I mean, no excuse for that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you're disciplinarian, right, but, talaga. Mm-hmm. Would you say? Um, well, coaching just cares. He cares, yeah. and sometimes tough he love. Shows it. Okay, it's really tough love. I mean, <laughs> I think a coach like that, but who fights for you behind the scenes to management and gives you a chance. I um, Yeah, so. That's why a lot of players want to play for him. A lot of players love him. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of the, the coach you see on TV, it's way different from uh, how you really know him as a person. That's true. Coaching okay, and so, putting superstars yeah. into... Ah, like role players into superstars. He That's right, yeah. You guys, yeah. Oh, last question though. My coaching stories, Kabajan. Like, specific... I know. <laughs> After a game, Claudio Wami gave us a good one, right? Sino pa oh, yeah. yung mga former players ni Coach Yang? Sabi ni, sabi ni Coach Yang kay Wami, hindi siya nag-shoot. Rather than shooting the ball, he pinas niya. He was so open na daw. Ginawa niya pinas daw ni Wami. Sabi Which ni is daw, rare for Wami. Yeah, rare yeah. daw kay Wami. Sabi daw ni Coach Yang sa kanya, Wami, puro ka pa cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh we bring one from Larry. We bring one out, though. No? <laughs> Mommy, puro ka pa cute. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I don't know if I should say this on air. Ooh, oh God. no! Is that serious? <laughs> <laughs> you can go. <laughs> no, 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 not not on those lines. Um, Interesting. Oh my gosh! Uh, should I say this, ba? Uh, <laughs> Bago may G-rated okay, version dyan, if you're concerned. <laughs> 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 we, just, we just shifted to another gear. Welcome, everybody. The show just um, started. Wag na lang, wag na lang. May kontrata pa ako with NLEX, eh. So... <laughs> okay, ako yun lang pambawi. Family, family friends ni Coach Yeng, eh. I think high school teammate of my dad. GH sila, eh. And we buy... All right, all right. Eh. Parang kapit-bahay namin in Pampanga. And yes. I was a kid, and we took forever to bike to his house, Sabin, yeah. And we pissed off coach. Because we and took then... forever now. And he just kept saying oh. it over and over. And then I had them having their adult talk. There's a censored word every sentence. The <laughs> end. <laughs> Yun yung G-rated version. I thought I'll share this. Lang. Siguro, okay, uh, we, have, we have a guest thing. We have a guest thing in Pampanga. Okay, so, um, okay. Coach Yang fetches me. Coach. <laughs> okay, huntam ni Coach. So, when it's four-tuner, eh, sakay niya ako. Bodyguard ba dyan? The, the whole trip going to Pampanga, wala, wala nagsalit. Veterano <laughs> <laughs> ka na. That's the word. And then, parang, no, kasi my teammates would say, alright, nice one, Larry. Enjoy, enjoy coaching the trip with him, ha? Huh? So, I didn't know what to expect. And of course, so intimidated after, you know, for example, sa practice, sa games, you're going to And then, may isa pang episode yan sa, sa airport. Nako, natakot yung internet. Nakot. <laughs> nabi kami sa, nabi kami sa, sa aeroplano. Okay, so, yun nga, parang, exactly, wala na namang, <laughs> wala na namang magsalita. And it's just so funny kasi right now, you know, after all these years na, it's so easy pala to talk to him. He's such a different person pala. When, halimbawa, kami dalawa lang sa weights room, nag-uusap kami. Coach, oh, na- nakuha ko dito being an analyst. Pero pengin ang mga tips dyan, kung paano, <laughs> eh, tagal nyo nang ginagawa to. Oh, ganun ba? Oh, madali lang yan. Just be diplomatic about your, ano, about your comments. Kaya, 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 kaya mo yan. Tapos, Ayun nga, ano, we talk about 3x3. Ang sarap pala kausap nito ni Coach Yang. So parang, <laughs> ano mo yun, fear of man na unin takot mo. My gosh, he's such an interesting person para to talk to na, you know, sayang, sayang na alo. Eh, you know, before parang, ah, ito na lang, sige. Alright, eh, si Mick Pinisi, siguro natuto na rin ako sa kanya. Whenever he would see Coach Yang, siya lang, 
siya lang yung may kayang yumakap kay Coach Yang, mag-bear hug kay Coach Yang na parang um, parang wala lang para mag sila. And you know, si Coach Yang, he likes it. He loves it. Kanya sa kanyang ganun. So parang for us, ako ano ba naman, matatapos na rin ako eh. I mean, tagal na pinagsamahan naman ni Coach Yang. Wala naman kami yeah. bad blood dyan sa ano. And alam mo yun, what's stopping me from, you know? from talking to him and getting to know him. So, yun. Nagsalita. <laughs> Siguro siya rin parang, oh my gosh, what am I, am I gonna talk? Am I gonna say something? <laughs> baka, baka takot pa siya from last practice. Mga ganun. I was just about to say, siguro, in that you know, time, I, saw, I bumped into Coach Yang four years ago in a game of NCRAA. Siguro, we had a longer conversation. Three minutes. <laughs> I was just going to say. Oh Pero gilas coach na siya nun kasi, etc. I like the diplomatic thing, though. It shows yeah. Coach Yang's other yeah. side, politician, is si Coach Yang. Oh, politician siya. Uh, that's why he knows. He knows how to be diplomatic, di ba? Yeah. No, actually, that's so important to me. Whenever I go into a game and a coverage, I have to remind myself that you gotta be diplomatic about this because there's so yeah. much temptation to be like, uh, you know, critical and you know, say something na hindi naman dapat na, mm-hmm. alam mo yun, na, uh, yeah, buti na lang, nakausap ko siya about that and uh, I got that tip from him sa, sa weights room. <laughs> it all happens in the weights room, no? That's oh. it. <laughs> all have okay so before we we go to the your analyst and the uap uh we'll just take a break so we could uh, thank our uh sponsors no? and our network as well so okay so who the heck are we is part of the globally bonded network uh check out globally bonded on their website that's www.globallyballin.com and follow us on social media uh facebook instagram and tiktok at wthw podcast and subscribe to youtube uh globally balling youtube channel and uh you can watch all our episodes on that channel and if you're on the go spotify with uh check out hang time and eternity of basketball and who the heck are we and of course the globally balling podcast as well uh, i think they're in episode 50 hang time released inside is with bricks ramos and you that upc bricks translate to up okay yes and then uh, episode four with the uh, Mukhang with Jojo, Mukbang with Jojo with Aaron Black and Denise Tensai, and an eternity of basketball uh, with Claros Titos. Uh, that's Charlie Kuna, uh, uh, Sid Ventura, Noel Zarate, and uh, Jamie Mercado. And thank you to our sponsors: Chops the Go, New Era, Hinalaban Farms, Barrio Festa, Fuji Mama, Joji's Delight, Cookie Chum, Aqua Flask. Uh, and of course, cuts apparel. Thank you so much. Okay, and that's Larry. There you go. So we bring it back. Overcoat the tayo with the Coach Yang stories. Oh, we have more than we expected. That, yeah. <laughs> Gusto ko tayo before we go to the to the the, the, the analyst part, no, and, and the and the the UAP, the current UAP. Larry, who who welcomed you? And I say, unquote. With the Welcome 20. to the PBA. Welcome you to the yeah. PBA. Yeah. yeah. Baka may Siko dyan or, oh, Siko or something. <laughs> or Wala. Wala. Welcome. Oh, who welcome. welcome you to the Or si Coach Yen yung nag-welcome. <laughs> no, I would say si Enrico. I would say si Enrico and, si, and si Mick siguro. I mean, ganun din naman sa Ateneo eh, sa college eh. Si Enrico rin naman yung nag-welcome sa akin eh. Ganun naman siya magmahal eh. Kung baga, he wanted to prepare me. Hey, this is what you're gonna expect um, in, in college. And of course, I didn't understand it back then na... Uh, 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 why do you have to do all these things? But, you know, off the court, so pa yun eh, he, he'll, he's like a brother. He'll take care of you. He'll get, he'll have my back. And so PBA din. I mean, the way he took care of me, he helped me transition, reminded me how to survive here. And uh, he made me better. Ganun naman kasi. I mean, in, in the UAAP rin, um, he, he made sure that, that I got my touches, I got my shots. Ganun naman yung system namin. And same sa Red Bull din. Everything yeah. started from him. Yeah. So. Enforced it's Enrico, kasi, no? Yeah. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. One of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Is this really like? Because in... last year, kami ni Declaro. Every time Enrico plays, parang galing yun na 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 inis ka ako. Like, oh my gosh, it's just so good. May inis ka. Inis din naman ako from Larry. I guess. Oh no, three point shot. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. 
Kaboom, di ba? Panahon yun. Wala na yun. That was past 20 years yeah. ago. Isang beses lang naman kami nanalo sa Lasal sa final si Irlas na grabe. Dami yung beses na Don't worry. Yeah. It's about you. It's about you tonight. Yeah. Yes. It's about you. Okay. Welcome to so, the Larry Funisher Show. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So, okay, Ern, so you you played Ateneo or your your through your career. Talaga Ateneo. Tapos nag-PPA ka. Then, of course, uh, you went to 3x3. But now, you're in a different seat you're in a different career uh but still with basketball how is it being on the other side the man of the how do you call it basketball world giving the analysis for people to understand the game i'm having so much fun doing this mm-hmm. i mean uh when miko halili uh, messaged miko. me like, hey you want to try this out and i think you, you can do uh, well here i mean when the when the great miko halili messages you something like that i mean you you take it into you take it seriously because that's no joke and uh you know um, siguro kinilig din ako nung nabasa ko yun <laughs> <laughs> para wow ah, talaga <laughs> i mean so sige i'll give this a shot so my training kami na ginawa and yun i learned so much from him and y- yung mga yung mga reminders yung mga tips niya how to do this and the reassurance lang from him and boom na don't worry about this uh, we'll take care of you we won't put you in a bad spot when we when we partner in the panel Parang it really felt like wow this is uh, this is teamwork uh, in another level you know in the panel you know talking about the games and not being a fan anymore, being able to just be objective about everything, not being biased about everything. So, you know, just enjoying the game and just appreciating all these talent from, I know, from, from the booth. Best seat in the house. But of course, you're giving us a great, I know, a great, how do you say, a great product and you breaking down the game. But you have the best seat in the house doing that. Yeah, well, thank you for those kind words. But, um, you know, we just observe uh, what we see. I mean, the players, the coaches, they're the ones who uh, give that product. And we are just observing. And, you know, I'm just trying to say it the, the best way I, I observe. <laughs> mm-hmm. which, which game did you uh, do first? I think this one, right? Ateneo UP? Yeah, I did Ateneo or... UP first. And it was oh, wow. so scary. It was so intimidating. <laughs> I said, grabe ka naman, Miko sa unang laro pa lang i mean <laughs> ateneo up pa lang ateneo pa talaga i mean you know so there's the concern about uh bias. you know am I, am i going to be you know i have to be careful being biased but you know sabi no i don't think so because right now this is the day you stop being a fan and we are just going to do our jobs here and i i trust you that you know knowing you na your and are ka naman sa maraming bagay even the way you're playing <laughs> parang I mean, <laughs> I, I have. <laughs> what? Sabi, and no. kasi madaming bagay, sabi <laughs> No, no, parang, I mean, just my personality lang na, ano, uh, just um, probably reserved and controlled right. with emotions that, you know, it would probably help and it would be good in, in the panel. So, yeah, I just trusted his, his observation with that. And, you know, siya, I mean, si Boom pala. Si Boom pala yung first ko na kasama eh. Galing ni Boom sobra. Guys, Legend. You, you, do you know that a lot of the new piece or the new uh, people in the analyst, they always partner with Boom. Because <clears throat> Boom can really help the, the beginners. Yung mag-guide talaga. Mag-guide ka talaga. Right. Yeah, and, and si Boom. Yeah. yeah, si Boom. Kasi may, I think may workshop pa siya for everyone. For the new, new, um, new anchors, new analysts, even the correspondents. And even during the game, pag mababay energy ko, I mean, boom taps me na parang, let's go, let's go. Parang he conducts me. Uh-huh. And um, he tells me, go, continue, continue, go, go, you're doing it, you're doing it. Ang laking bagay nun. Sobra when you're, when you're, ano, when you're, uh, when you're there. Yeah. But you, it seems that you're getting the flow better now, no? With a couple games in. Because uh, I, I think you did the, what, the La Salle game? Lasal versus uh, not not the, the first round that that I did that in Lasal. You did With that in Lasal. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the the shot of ano. Uh, See, Tyler. Tyler. 
Yon, Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler and uh, sino pa ba? Uh, yeah, but you know, I was really impressed with Lohera and Evan that game. Huh? I mean, uh, those two guys really had a mission. Na they, they knew how to attack Ateneo. They showed so much fearlessness. It was just so so fun watching them uh, during that game. Na, uh, yeah, as a panelist, man, that's all we want. So it's just a really exciting, high-quality action. And, you know, the players will help us do our jobs. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's, that's a good way to say it. Uh, the players will help us do our jobs. Hey, that's the first time I actually heard that. <laughs> I, I get I get where Larry's yeah, but, going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Galing. Galing, give yeah. you the ooh, the ah, the energy. There's a dunk. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice. There's a nice play with the extra pass. Question though. So, I think that's your commentating debut. UAP has drums, but when you started, walang drums. So how was it? There's two unfamiliar things. Ah, unfamiliar. Maybe it's your first one as a commentator. Pero walang drums, which comes with every UAP game supposedly. So how was that experience? Napaka weird ba or like? No, it's cool. Go with the flow. Um, sabi kasi ni Miko, your energy level the, will go up because there's more adrenaline and energy in the game because of the fans. And yun nga, the first few games, wala, no? So, um, siguro less pressure. And I guess, so may extra effort to like, you know, project your voice better. And I guess naririnig namin sa timeout lang yung mga coaches. Dinig dan dinig namin kahit nasa taas kami. So, um, yun nga, no? it, was, it was a little difficult then uh, to, to, you know, to, to start na walang ang fans because the UAP is not completed without fans, di ba? Agreed. But then yun nga, no? nag-start na may tambol na, no? And yun nga, <laughs> nagkatotoo nga yung sinabi ni Miko na, wow, alright, the, the energy will go up. And ano yan, uh, masaya yan. So, iba, iba ang UAP. Some Kapag drums lang yan. Yeah. Siguro, you just hear the one big fight of the Ateneo drums. Goods na si Larry. No need for coffee. Yeah. Actually, yeah. sa UST ako nag-goosebumps. Ah. So, ever oh, since okay. high school. Really, ever yeah? since high school, yeah, kami pala ng mga teammates ko. Grabe itong UST. Ano. Yun, chini-cheer namin sa ano. Chini-cheer namin sa, <laughs> sa practice. Yun. Really, really. I mean, syempre, of course, yung, yung cheer ng Ateneo, I mean, grade school pa lang ako I mean, naririnig ko na yan and uh, you know, by heart, alam ko na yan, memoriado ko na yan. It's, pag pinapatugtog yung isang cheer ng Ateneo, doon ibig sabihin late ka na for class. So, yun, lagi ko naririnig ko dahil lagi akong late dati. No? So, <laughs> so, bad bad so, association pa lang. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mali ano, association. Fly, yung fly high blue eagle, fly blue eagle the king. Yun yung ano, pag pinatugtog na yun, sa so grade ka school yan, late ka na. <laughs> Oh, but USD, crazy. It's in their culture, talaga. The cheering, eh. similar to with UP. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Like, they will always cheer, like even when it's a good season or a bad season. Yeah, they're gonna be there. Those guys. Yung ano, yung sa UP naman. I watched live their final four. Cause I'm also Rainier season. We just we just watched that because my whole family, my whole family is from a shared din. Eh. So I just wanted to watch the game, and then don being a fan, tapos. Diba, UP entered the final four. They beat Adamson sa, ano, sa final yes. four. Yun, na-appreciate ko rin yung, ano, yung UP. cheer ng UP ron. Tapos yung sea of, ano, sea of maroon. Tapos, wow, grabe pala. Iba, hindi ko na-experience on being a player. Tapos, um, yun, to get that experience. Like, wow, a, what a perspective. <laughs> Puro ano kasi, no? Nasa natin yun. Uh... <laughs> nasawa, nasawa. <laughs> Ay, gusto ko na mag-UP. Ganun, Iba naman. <laughs> But aren't you glad that the UAP is back? I'm I mean, very glad. So yeah. glad. I mean, ang gandang connection din kasi. Um, dami kong assistant coaches na, you know, pag focus sila sa camera, parang, wow, ang dami kong gusto sabihin. <laughs> former teammates, assistant coaches, former assistant coaches na ano, na kalaban ko. Na, alam mo yun, if my opening lang, ang dami kong kwentong pwedeng sabihin. So, it's really nice. And you get to connect with, you know, your, the former people you work with na, right. you know, hindi ko na-realize uh, before I took this gig. Galing, no? A, a different perspective talaga, no? From from being in the in the court and being in the panel. Parang just completely different eyes. Yeah. 
Tsaka daming kwento. Ang saya ng mga kwento before the game. Like, I learned so much from si Namiko. Mga... Kasi they have to research. They have to ask the players, the coaches. Uh, ano ba talaga yung nangyari. So, dami ko nalutunan na ano, na hindi ko ma... Of course, pag player ka, hindi mo naman kasi pwedeng mag, magtanong ka sa mga ibang coaches or players sa, sa ibang yeah. team na wala. Ano man time gawin yun. Ito ngayon, parang ang daming ano. Uh, yun, ang daming mo na-appreciate na, ano, na mga side stories and, you know, a lot of connections with other players and coaches na uh, na-appreciate mo lang pag nasa panel ka. Yeah. Different vantage point, as they say. Yeah. Even even Willie, Willie Wilson gives a different take on it. Oh. Galing pakinggan that kayo. Really nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's really it's it's a good 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 in the ears, you know. Set up to, from a perspective. Even Co- Dylan is also there, right? Ah, he was, yeah. he was. He did yeah. the Lasal USD game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. first round. Dylan, JB Casho, JB Casho, Isaac Go, Isaac, si Isaac. Asa si Isaac? I think he'll stop na kasi he has to play with Gilas. Eh. Ah, so that's right. practice yeah. na siya. PBA uh, Gilas siya. So he's back already. I think yeah. ano oh. oh. Ayun. <laughs> but you bring that extra vantage point because a player, you see the yeah. game differently, just like everyone else. Like you don't and have you to ask who the down. heck, yeah, you know, who the heck is Larry, you know? Because you guys, <laughs> you guys been there, you've done that. Di ka tulad sa atin na who the heck are you? Oh, okay. No, wala. Kento mo lang. Parehens. Hands. No, no. Hindi <laughs> <Hence the title. laughs> no, no. <laughs> naman. I mean, it's. Siyempre, may experience ako, pero the players are completely different today. Hindi ko rin na pwedeng sabihin na, yeah, I've been there, so ganito na dapat, or back in our day, ganito. Hindi, kumbaga, they have their different, their own journeys, their different stories, so, you know, I just have to appreciate, um, you know, th- their journey, and, you know, um, yun nga, talk about that. That's right. So, yeah, so, ako, I, I, like I said, it's uh, nice to hear from a different, you know, uh, different, different angle, different, super. different people, yeah. Uh, especially that it's good that they got a lot of the former players, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then they hear the Quetuhan, what they did that style, but you know, mm-hmm. the, the Quetuhan, <laughs> yeah. I think Laro has a, a question, yeah, yeah. So there's everything we spoke about, right? But one of the important things is this yeah. <laughs> ending the curse of Korea. You're wearing, you're wearing crazy lights. That was my basketball shoe of choice too back then. So, oh. how was this whole experience <laughs> shoes, in yeah. Pilipinas at home? Hindi pa also yung home and away that time. Eh. And then you did this. Yeah. Something really special qualifying us to the World Cup. Uh, yeah, I mean, all glory to Christ. I mean, our, our journey kasi grabbing, grabbing sacrifice and leaving the family for um, how many trips abroad and, uh, you know, experiencing the whole stadium cheering for you. I mean, I thought Ateneo La Salle was the best crowd. And then, you know, I experienced the Hinebra crowd all against us. But then it was <laughs> all for us. Yeah, we lang kita mga personality ng mga fit ng Filipinos. I mean, <laughs> when, it's ti- when it's time for, for them to cheer for you, I mean, as one nation, they will. So, <laughs> what an experience lang. So, uh, yeah, I mean, so blessed lang to be part of it. Uh, Never in my wildest dreams would na naisip ko to be part of that. I mean, just, things just fell into place, and uh, yun nga, no, Coach Chot even thinking about uh, considering me for that. Uh, yeah, it's pure joy right there. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, but talaga. You know, uh, That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Pure joy. Yeah. But, uh, I know, big journey though. Of course, I know you didn't get to play in the World Cup due to injury, but. That's a great thing to cap it off at home, you can say. Yeah. You have a happy yeah, ending on your side as a Gila. Yeah, I mean, oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything is a bonus lang. I mean, yeah. when got back then, when I got injured, all I was praying for is I, I just want to drive. I can't stand two weeks at home na naka immobilizer. <laughs> I just drive? want to drive my car and just, you know, be free from home. Yeah. And then, you know, looking back at it, what, you know. What what God allowed me to go through, pa? Wow! <laughs> Look at that, and though. The journey carries teammates on. Pa. Ateneo, tas ng like teammates pa, right? Oh, yeah. Diba? Oh, sorry. One question though, because let's say pro na kayo, is there like this Ateneo former Ateneo player mafia or something like that? They have it in NBA Duke Mafia, so the JJ Reddick, the parang my content network. Do you guys have that Ateneo? 
there's some sometimes there's comparison Ateneo Duke you, you can argue may ganun ba kayo like oh let's say Ateneans who came after you you guys are in touch in the PBA or more of kanya kanya or you're with your group they're with their group my group naman has been my family kumbaga i wasn't really like um no 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 hindi, hindi rin ako maggrupo sa mga players then uh, basically i just mm-hmm. try to simplify my life then after my game Basically, I go home. I mean, being a hands-on parent, lang. I mean, that's yeah. my that's my joy. Then <laughs> taking care of my kids, lang. Then so, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm in contact with all of all of my teammates, naman. Um, mm-hmm. from past. I mean, I'm in contact with Tonino sa 3x3, and yes. uh, you know, sa, sa stock market. I mean, all these okay. other right. angles, na, no? with Coach Sandy. <laughs> With Coach Sandy, with everything from being a friend to being a mentor to being um, a ramen buddy. <laughs> iba iba eh. With Magnum um, asking for, you know, for for advice in, in the corporate world. I don't know. And dami, dami, bang angle. Very interesting. Tapos, ayan, si Paul with, you know, with Faith and uh, uh, si BJ also. Tapos, and dami, and dami. The bike, the bike group. It's very, you know, it's not really focused. Parang it's so, it's so diversified. And alam ko, our teammates din man may mga kanya-kanya mga barkada rin. So it's not like, you know, um, kami lagi. Right, right. It's more of the go with the flow type talaga. Okay. You said it. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so uh, Larry, we're already in towards the end of our, our, of our segment. Uh, Claudia, do you have any other questions regarding Gilas or anything? I think I'm good. Good. Okay. So, Larry, uh, before we start uh, with our, we have two more two more segments now. But before we start that, we would like to give you the floor, uh, of course, to say your thank yous or your uh, if you have a fan club. I'm sure. Meron yan for sure. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> deba. People in the in the court side. And yeah. <laughs> My Larry the well, is going to share yeah. the banner for sure. Uh, the free throw. This is now your time to um, say say your shout outs. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, where do where do I start? I mean, siguro kung fans club. Uh, I have I have a few a very I have a few loyal ones like si Alviado, Emily, Baduya. Um, tagal ko na rin sila nakita si Purse and uh, and dami and dami na um, kasi nga it stopped in yung pandemic, di ba? To uh, you know, this whole pandemic messed it up, so I haven't seen them in a while. So I hopefully I can see you guys again. Hopefully if maglaro pa ako, I don't know where 3x3 or 5 on 5 no. So maraming salamat even um even sa ano sa um even online yung patuloy pa rin nag-support sa akin now um messaging for for praying praying for me. Congratulations. So ayun na kung fans club lang ganun and um I guess the people who who were there for me nung Nung pandemic na hirapan ako, I, I guess you know who you guys are, and I I've never stopped thanking you naman personally, and uh, of course my family na who who's here with me every day. Uh, so yun lang. I'm not really too big with ano, with, <laughs> with thanking people ano um, here online. Siguro I I can do it like personally. I'm I'm more like that. <laughs> so I'm sure they I'm sure they still appreciate the gesture, yeah. of course. Yes, yeah. thought that counts, and we're sh- we're sure it's there. Right. Okay, so uh, Clara, I'll go first, and you, and then me. Okay, so the first sure. one is um, uh, Larry. How would you like to be remembered? You know, you, you had a good career in basketball. Um, uh, commentating, you know, commentating now, off. yeah, and you know, you 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 um, uh, wore the flag, wore the jersey. How would you like people to remember you? By? Your legacy. Um, <laughs> well, like I said in the start of this thing, it's not really not about me. And when I, when you talk about my career, I cannot really take credit. I have to deflect. Ultimately, it's it's to Jesus Christ. John three thirty. He must decrease. I must. He must increase. But I must decrease. So basically, that's my legacy. But however I do that, in whatever platform, whatever job I am, wherever I'm put, basically that's what I try to do. And Yun lang, no? I, I I hope I can get better at that lang. It's really not my legacy or anyone else but you know but Christ. And that's really how I 
the only way I know how to answer that. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Lara? Ten years from now, where do you see Larry Fonashir? Career, in family? Where do you see yourself? <laughs> or you, where do you imagine it or picture it? Uh, interesting because, you know, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. It's interesting. I, I mean, life begins at 40. I'll be 40 in a few weeks. And, you know, I probably going to stop playing this year and it's so many so much uncertainty i'm curious to what um to to know what's next no uh yun nga, uh having said that there's obviously the priority of um you know taking care of my family be, be, being that being the focal point of, of so many decisions wherever that may be and uh I don't know. It's it's curious. Sometimes it's better that you don't know where you're going to be because you know, um, you know, it it opens up so much curiosity on you know what what I can still do beyond basketball or whether it's still in basketball, whatever capacity that is. But um, yeah, one door closes, and Lord willing, there are other doors that open. And yeah, you know, it's something that I need to pray about. Um, nothing definite. <laughs> But maybe that's where the, the the faith and the you know the 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 joy comes in. <laughs> that's right. It's a long. It's like trust the process. You know, you just keep at it. <laughs> yes. Joel Embiid. A love. But uh, I buy yeah. Joel Embiid. <laughs> so this one, Larry. Uh, you know, uh, we had a friend that passed away. I think all of us know who he is. It's a uh, boy at season, unfortunately, and and uh, he he's uh hosted the show with us before. I think he had two, three shows with us. And one of them was with Kenneth Doremdes. He actually helped us uh, uh, co-host that show. And uh, we're dedicating this question because he actually helped us uh, give this question out. No, um, And he says, uh, so Larry, are you familiar with the DeLorean or Back to the Future? Uh, uh, the one, like, yeah, the movie. The movie. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, yeah. Time traveling, basically. Time traveling, yes, basically. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Yeah. So how, if you had the chance to go back in time and meet your 14-year-old self, what would you <laughs> tell that 14-year-old Larry Fonacher? Gosh. Uh, feed on the word. Read the Bible. I mean, guard your heart. Uh, you know... So it's the Bible about forgetting what lies behind, right? But, you know, when I, when I look back at a lot of the things in my life, you know, part of me wants uh, to reset and do, undo so many things. That's just the reality of it. And, you know, my 14-year-old self, I guess it's what I'm trying to do with my kids right now. Basically, that's why I am hands-on to them. I'm, homes, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching them, being a mentor to them, not just being... Um, uh, a provider for them. Basically, I'm pouring out my life to them and, you know, training them up to, 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 godly, to godliness, Lord willing, because you know, I, I wish I started that early. I wish someone taught that to me when I was young. And, um, you know, that, that's really my answer. Really um, get that Bible, study it, and <laughs> tune it, find your mentors and who will lead you to, to the straight path. And yeah, it's not even career based. It's just really, um, it, it is that important to me when I look back at it. <laughs> good. It's so always Humbling. good to reflect back, no? And say, Humbling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. No, my no, guess no. was Larry would be telling, teaching, teaching 14 year old Larry how to become shooter very early. That'd be scary. No, no, no. I mean, I don't have <laughs> that to was, teach him. That's my guess. Yeah. No, the, the truth is, is he, he has his own way of shooting that, to tell you the truth, there are times that I had to emulate it because he was shooting. He was, he has a set shot. <laughs> and I had to try it. Yeah, because he is hero is Curry. And oh, I had wow. to. Uh, I was curious now, how, how is he able to shoot like five straight, seven straight sometimes? Now it looked effortless and I just had to study it. And, you know, I tried it. I tried to set shot a lot of times and it really worked. 
So oh. from then on, I said, I'm not going to teach you how to do this. You have your own thing. I'm not going to be saying like, hey, this is how I did it. This is what was taught to me. Yeah. This is how we should do it. No way. I mean, <laughs> you, <laughs> and, you know, and for me, it's really not that important. Naman. There are other things, there are more important things than teaching him to shoot a basketball. So less pressure on me, less pressure on him. <laughs> Very unique and, of course, very striking answer. Yeah, to teach the way of life. Okay, so now, this is where we go to our last segment. Okay, so, claro, we we call this segment, Who the heck are we? What a draft! Well, galing ng original, galing namin ng originality. <laughs> it's 10. <laughs> Regenerative is 10. Man. So, Ay, naka um, mute ako during the bell. Sorry. Yeah, you didn't ring yeah. the bell. You didn't ring the bell. Yeah, so, there you go. Okay, so. Inspired by the Elordi cousin. Yes, fighting on our show. <laughs> Nico Elordi also guested on our yeah. show. So, okay. So. There you go. Let's so, go. Athletes to watch in person. Okay. So, it could be an, it could be a coach, an athlete, uh, whoever you choose, right? So, Larry, it's going to be you first. And then me, and then Claro, and then Claro again, then me, and then you. So snake, siya. All right. And then no repeating of answers. And just to clarify, right? We can still put people we've got to watch. You've already. watched, yes, that's correct. Okay, that's lang correct. Din. Yeah. That's dream, right. they... Okay, I saw them already. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So Larry has the okay, honor. Larry. Uh, my first choice. Yeah, your oh. first choice. Yes. Uh, Monty Williams. Phoenix Suns. Come on, see. inspire, ah. Such a Christian. I've heard, I've heard stuff yeah. like his speeches on YouTube. Yeah. Galing, galing, galing. Mm-hmm. Ako. Blood, yeah. Me, me, me. John Stockton. <laughs> good pick. I will say good pick. <laughs> because he, I, no, cut, sorry. Yeah. Good pick. Because you didn't get mine. <laughs> Yeah, Kobe. Okay, <laughs> Got to see Kobe like his Nike tour, pero as a Laker in there, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, who's this? Michael Jordan. And then Claudia, then two straight Larry. Yeah. Ako, Joe Montana. And Larry, two straight. Larry. David Robinson. Ooh. Admiral. Admiral. <laughs> One more? Yep. Or Larry back to back. Wesley So. Oh, wow. Grand that's master. a big one. That's chess. Wow. <laughs> that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ako, oh, yeah. 1980s Mon Fernandez. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 70s, 80s Mon Fernandez. He was, that was it. Peak of his career. Mon. So now, where I'm like, oh no, what do I say? Ah, I got one. I got one. Okay. LeBron. Like, just to say, I got to see him play in person. I missed him by two days in the States. Oh, gosh. Okay. I go back to back. But I. Who's that guy? Sigis. Soccer. Carlos Vela, Mexico. 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 Player, captain yeah. of LA FC. Uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Soccer. Sige. Dennis Bergkamp. Arsenal. He's, a, he's always in yards, no? But my athlete. He's always in my yeah. Those yeah. are John Stockton, Dennis Bergkamp, my favorite. Oh, yeah. Larry, two more. Tim Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just smiling. Eh? It's a good choice. Eh? But uh, ano yan, uh, Spurs, you just watch the Spurs. You just watch the Spurs. Magaling naman sila sa ball movement. Eh. Why not? Yeah. No, kasi si Tim Duncan, gusto ko yan dahil ano, mahilig sa sale. Sa ano, tsaka yung fashion niya, ano lang. Simple. Simple. Uh, <laughs> like, like his game. <laughs> and his hair wala. is different now, no? He looks, he looks homeless. <laughs> wala yung Russell Westbrook style na boom! Wala. Silaw. Tsaka wala yung social media. Wala oh, oh, wala oh, wala social media. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. He really okay. keeps to, That's the guy who keeps to himself. Mm-hmm. 
And then you have one more pick, Larry. Then ikaw yung referee for the last picks in case my problema. But this draft has been Normally, straightforward wala. for us. Yes. Yeah. Number five. Last pick. Oh, Co- commentating eh. Reggie Miller. Sabi ni Miko Halili, pag-aralan ko si Reggie Miller. Mag- yes. mag- gano, mag-analyst. So, sige. So, he is, <laughs> he is your peg. <laughs> well, gano, eh. he's my homework. So, yeah. I listen to him a lot. So Miko told me before to watch Vin Scully, commentator style niya talaga. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. We're almost done. Time out na. Yeah. We'll hello. get your daddy back in a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's We're put it back. Done. Okay, mine, Dennis Rodman. Oh, love. Napaka opposite from the style, the simple style of Larry Funasher. Mine is all. Mine oh, is all. Yeah. No, I Tim Duncan, yeah. Walang crazy style like Russell Westbrook. Ay, dami cool ay walking into the stadium, diba? Oh, I've gotten to I've been able to watch F1. I know na sa coach sila, diba? But I never Kimi Raikkonen. He wasn't there when I was able to watch it. Race car driver. Ferrari's last racing champion. 15 years ago. Yeah, been a long time. So, that's the list. So, very reflective of this simple, and how do you say this? I know that Larry Pondo Shepard, soft-spoken, <laughs> right? You can say, simple type of guy. Claudia, I think you're mute. It's, uh, yeah, Wesley, Wesley saw that was, that was a surprise for me. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a surprise. Oh, Grandmaster, right? Yeah, really, sayang, he, Went to the states. We didn't take care of him, but yeah, Ling. <laughs> okay, so Larry, thank you so much. We kept you more than an hour. Um, thank you again for coming to the show. Really, it's, thank you uh, so much. It's it was a, a pleasure. pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you, and thank you for sharing your your faith. You know, um, uh, your your that you love Jesus, your Lord and Savior, and keep at it. And uh, uh, yeah, just um, hope to see you on the court. If not. Hope to hear you uh, keep commentating <laughs> mm-hmm. on, on the UAP. Maybe, yeah. maybe eventually, maybe we don't know. We could hear you in the in the professional league soon. So, uh, <laughs> uh, it's good to hear fresh ear. Good to hear uh, fresh voices uh, analyzing the game. Yeah, so thank, thank you, Clara. You so Claudia, Clara. So privileged thank to be you. part of your show. See you around. See you around. Honored to have you. Yes. That's Bye, Larry. Larry. All right. Okay, so are you, Larry? Finish so, your yeah. great so, episode. Yeah, so easiest glad draft. Because yeah. walang away, we're like, oh, we know what we want, right? <laughs> yeah, no, and then there were so many athletes, kasi madaming athletes, kasi okay. na pwede. Ano. Pero yeah. I'm glad that we got to, you know, give the tribute question um, about Boyd Season. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, um, it's sad that he had to go home. Soon, Sooner than we all Sooner thought than we thought. Yes. But um, Papa B continue to touch lives. A young legacy ni Papa B, right? Grabe. Left. Grabe. I mean, that's just a shade. Him just leaving a question for us. But yes. Iba. Iba. You know, iba. Papa B yeah. is out there um, yeah. on all the sorts of media. You know, he uses platform well, inspire yes. people, help them through whatever. Yeah. Especially during the pandemic, right? Yeah. But great and, uh, conversation with Larry from the share. You can yeah, really feel the buzz, like, oh, the hype is back. UAP yeah, is back, yeah, right? Back, and that's yeah. such a sense of normalcy. And it's cool for me, yeah, because the commentators yeah. were the players I watched growing yes. up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And they, and they have a different just, angle. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not just like, what was Woody Wilson? Because he watched, I mean, oh, I'm Dylan. Really? I'm dami, I'm dami. I'm just not limiting it to like this, to Woody Wilson because in the like, same school, right? It's everyone. I appreciated them watching Hoops growing up. And Iba commentating full circle, full circle. It's it's amazing. It's amazing how, um, yeah, how these players start from small beginnings and now now they're uh, in the bigger stage. You know? uh, they were in the bigger stage playing the ball, playing basketball, but now they're uh, you know bigger stage by commentating the, the basketball. So mm-hmm. so ninety seven. Got a gosh, claro. Two more episodes. 
We haven't even done the math yet. Oh my god, we don't even have. We're just we're just going in. We're not even going. We call 100 100 guests. So we're just like, okay, who's next? Who's next? Just go. Let's just keep at it. Yes. Such a privilege, and my dog is sleepy. Okay. Um, coach. Um. Excited, nasha. UAP bukas ulit. UAP. And then, kasama yun ng rally. I just want to show the color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. So those that are going to be watching the U- UP um, Lasal game. Daming games. Daming Whatever games. game even, yes. Yeah. Oh, congratulations to the Hinebra fans who are winning. They beat uh, Miraco uh, game six today. So there won't be a game seven. Yeah, bro. I want yeah. to see game seven Philippine Arena. Yeah. 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 I'll just see it there. <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of Clara Manzano, my name is Claudia Prime. Thank you so much. For watching episode 98 with Larry on a share. What?